What it be like, light? Like, you already know what it is. It's your boy Calvin Light, like my way. I uh, just wanted to make this quick video. Um, you know, we had a little, little situation, I should say, um, with my son's school, right? And uh, we, we, we were going over, me and my wife were going over some of his work. And come to realize that teacher putting check marks on a bunch of daggone work. But in the work, you know, uh, let's say like a worksheet, right? Uh, you're answering questions about a store. And you got misspelled words everywhere. You got, um, you know, uh, errors, gra gra grammar errors, uh, sentence structures looking funny. And, um, my wife, she sent the letter out to the school and so forth. And teacher goes to say, you know, he used, you know, details from the story, three facts from the story, blase, blase. And me and my wife, we pretty much break down that uh, some bull crap. Uh, so we, we coming into uh, really focusing on myself uh teach my son english <laughs> uh grammar uh sentence structure for myself because the the i think it's a picture of society that we live in now to where uh you don't want to offend people right like everybody like you know everybody's hypersensitive and they have trigger words and, uh, you know, people don't want to offend anybody. But truth be told, if you're in the realm of my age or older, uh, you can testify that there's many times you put papers down or send papers in that came back red all over it. And this is the, this is the key difference between today's society and you know uh, the society of days gone by uh, you can't know that you're wrong unless you're corrected did you hear that no one can know that they're wrong if they're not corrected in other words if um I put in a, a math paper and you just put a big check mark at the top because I did all the problems or I filled in all the blanks that I don't know that I'm doing the problems wrong if I have all the wrong answers. Um, with, with reading, reading comprehension, oh, he has four sentences, thank God for four sentences, then, oh, well, he doesn't know that his sentence structure is off, his spelling is off, so forth if he's not being corrected and this can be said in life as well there are many people out here that feel they you know that they're hypersensitive a bunch of punks the whole society is just a bunch of punks to where people don't want to be corrected people feel as if they should live in error uh live how, live how they want uh do as thou will so forth um for eternity just just continue to do wrong and anyone that dares to correct them is uh, a bigot racist uh, super religious um, and what have you but the truth be told no one can know truth or no one can know when they're wrong or in error if no one corrects them I'm not saying go through life with a giant red marker or a red pen slashing everybody's throat saying, oh, you're wrong. You shouldn't do this or you shouldn't do this. But truth be told, correction always starts at the home. We must be willing to correct our own. We must be willing to correct our friends, our family. And this is not a... Uh, a, a a a lesson or a thought that is focused simply on uh, 
schoolwork, nor is it a, a thought that is simply uh, a religious statement or a spiritual statement, but this is a life statement. We all, we all must be corrected. We all must be corrected. Man must know that man should not disrespect or degrade women. Women must know they cannot degrade or disrespect man. And that man must be man. And women must be women. That we must be corrected whenever we see people being oppressed or being disrespected or being treated as less than human. That goes for people that are in the United States as well as the world abroad, obviously. But we have this notion in which we put people into different categories and they, they, they only deserve a certain amount of, of, of human respect or rights or a fair treatment. When truth be told, we should all be treated as if we are being looked at through the lenses of God. Equally. Now if you're wrong, you're wrong. And if you're right, it's not even above of your own self. It is based off the him that is living within you. But that's neither here nor there. Truth be told, correction must start at the home. Correction must continue throughout life, and we must strive to go to the next level. I love this shirt right here. It says, I may, not, <laughs> I may not always be right, but I'm never wrong. Right? My wife got this shirt as a joke. But uh, it kind of speaks to my, my, my personality. And it, but it really speaks to, to this, the way that the world thinks no one can be wrong and that's a damn lie pull out your red marker if you will let's change this world let's grow let's educate our children let's educate ourselves let's grow and let's move let's not reach for a mark that is set for us but let's create the mark by doing our absolute best to grow. Till next time, be blessed, be encouraged. Know God loves you, so do I. And if you want to win, welcome correction. Cheers.